Hey, Mike Holt here, MikeHolt.com. Just sitting uh, next to this ground rod that's connected over to that light pole. I right, listen, this video is to help you overcome your grounding fantasy that you have about a ground rod connected to a metal pole. So let's talk about it first. Let's acknowledge the fantasy. Number one, well, Mike, the reason for that ground rod is to make sure that in the event of a ground fall to the pole here, right, that this current will go to ground, take the path of least resistance, and protect people. 100% false. So we have to overcome that one. Number two, well, Mike, you know, we want to make sure that we ground that metal pole so that in the event that there's a lightning strike, the wires themselves, the lightning is not going to travel down the wires and go into the building. It's going to go down to the ground. Well, the wires inside that metal pole, just so you know, are in a Faraday cage. If you don't understand that, you need to understand that. The electromagnetic pulse that's going to be generated from that direct lightning strike is going to be the same no matter what. It's going to induce a voltage in those conductors. Maybe it's going to damage equipment inside the building. So what would you might want to do on that? Some of you guys already know that. You do what? You put surge protection. You don't drive a ground rod connected to a pole to protect energy going into a building. That's called surge protection. Mike, no. That's number two fantasy. Number three fantasy. Well, Mike, we want to drive a ground rod connected to a pole just in case it's lightning. See, Mike, this is called lightning protection. Well, if you make that one, you got a really fantasy there because you don't understand how lightning protects. It's like it's like we go to NASA and say, hey, listen, guys, I got an idea. I know you guys have a problem with rockets on the launch pad here and lightning in Florida. Drive a ground rod, take a six gauge wire, connect it to the bottom of your rocket. That way you can provide lightning protection. It doesn't work that way. OK, go, by the way, do NASA and look at a lightning protection system. It's fascinating. It's not a ground rod, but it's another story. OK, three fantasies. OK, so now how what I just said, is it true? Do me a favor. Go to MikeHolt.com slash fantasies. Watch the video. That's going to It's the first step in you being able to overcome the problem that you might have. Listen, have fun. God bless and be safe.